Hey all, it's me, Rebecca, ready to tackle yet another part of our practice series today with part three of The Art of Practicing. And this time, we're going to be going through the question of inspiration. What was your inspiration? You can do it, and Rebecca will show you how. Step by step all along the way. Introducing the The Learn Learn Flute Podcast. Podcast. So I vividly remember different sections of my life that had moments of big inspiration in them that all pointed me towards my desire to learn to play the flute. The first time was when I was about eight years old and my sister was actually the one who had the flute and a flute teacher and was playing every day. She'd laugh and talk about all her friends she had at school who also played. Well, fast forward several years and you might find it interesting to note that she's the one who stopped playing and I charged on full blast because I not only felt purpose in this endeavor, but I had been heavily inspired multiple times. I guess you could say I was kind of lucky, but I don't really feel it was just luck. It honestly seemed to fit right in a notch I already had in me. I have other times when I felt overwhelming desires to be able to express myself in a musical manner. Now, I'm not saying anyone here has to have the same experiences I've had, but I think for today we can examine what it was that sparked your first desire. It'll be fun! Now, there are endless stories of highly successful musicians who all actually began on a different instrument. And then through a succession of events or teachers, both great and not so great, that helped lead them to the new particular instrument. It's always fun to hear other people's stories. I like to not only people watch, but I like to daydream of what types of fairy tales or even sagas different people have had to live in order to get to where they are. Now, is it just me or do you do that also? It's important to ponder on what led you to the flute, and then we'll hold on to that with all your might as you go through the valleys and hills of the learning process, and remember that it is enough that you want to learn. That desire alone will make you teachable. There's a certain amount of passion deep inside each person. (laughs) Well, sometimes I think flutists have more than everyone else, just my little opinion, but we tend to have it down inside us, and it seems that just covering over the top of it is either real confidence or that fake it till you make it confidence. Either one will work. Isn't that nice? All musicians, whether they're on the very beginning road or very well traveled, are still learning, and they all wonder the same thing. They have the same questions in their minds like, can I really do it? Or do I really have talent? And so on and so on. It goes on forever. The fun thing to think about here is that if we have the desire, even a teeny tiny little one, then we have the talent. It may be buried further down inside us than someone else, but that's no matter. It just takes time, patience, practice, knowledge, and some good mentorship to bring it to the surface. Everyone has their own particular journey, and it seems that no one's journey is exactly the same. So, it's best if we don't compare ourselves to someone else, especially if they've been on the path longer or taken a different route. It's just not fair to even assume that they would have the same experience. Now, I live up in the mountains here in Utah, and I'll tell you that I grow a really good garden. I love good food, real plants of beautiful colors, shapes, and varieties. And my husband and I have harvested for our entire married lives, and even while I was growing up. So there are a lot of things to learn from planting and growing a garden. And I've noticed that almost without fail, every year when I put the seeds in the ground, they seem to grow. And when they get water and abundant sunshine, they really grow. And then I have so much food that I have to call my friends and family to come share as well. But there are times like this year when I planted a whole row of edamame and it just, it didn't come up. I don't know what happened because everything else around it popped up on time. 
Well, I waited and waited and still nothing. So I had to replant. And this time, yep, up they came. So what I'm trying to say here is that when I've taken the time and effort to plant seeds that are supposed to grow, they usually do. But occasionally, I have to replant because for some reason, it just didn't work. Now, the second time around, I buy new seeds and I pay attention to how much water they get during those first few weeks. <laughs> well, I'm trying to talk in parables here. I can liken learning to playing our instrument to growing a garden, just like I do here. If we have the proper knowledge and a proper working instrument, we should be able to plant and harvest flute skills, right? Yep, it's true, except sometimes some of it just doesn't click and it's difficult, like my row of edamame. It's okay though, because we can always go back to square one and just start again. This time, being extra careful to do what it takes to teach ourselves properly, making sure to have enough practice, patience, and sunshine as we do it. I really enjoy helping you students with your learning. It's cool and amazing to be along for the journey. Now, I don't know if any of you have studied Chinese and what some of the characters mean, but I heard this once. So I'd, I'd like any of you, if you could, to check me to see if this is true. I heard that the Chinese symbol for the word joy is also the same for the word music. What do you think? Well, we've all heard that music makes the world go around, and I believe it's true. Every culture from every generation has music as a source of pleasure, among other reasons. What is your inspiration? I hope you have a beautiful day and that it's filled with joy and music. We'll chat again next time. Bye now. Thanks for listening today. Remember that this is where people of all ages, such as you, can come, learn, and play the musical instrument flute in an easy-to-follow organized manner and in the privacy and comfort of your own home on your own schedule.